Hey everyone, it's Melissa. I am gonna give it a couple minutes and wait for people to pop on. Looks like we're gonna be starting right at six, well, six o'clock my time, nine o'clock in Florida. So I'm gonna wait for people to join and then we will jump right in. Normally I can see when people pop up, so we are gonna see who joins. All right, looks like we have some people joining in. How's it going, guys? Hey, Jenny. Welcome, everyone. I'm gonna give it just a couple more seconds and then we are gonna jump in. Hey, Yesenia. All right, it looks like people are seeing that we're live. I can see the little number at the top and the number's growing. So as you jump on, say hello, give some hearts, let me know you're here. How's it going, Marianne? Hey, Leo. Hi, Megan. Hey, Michelle, how's it going, guys? All right, well, happy Wednesday. I am going to jump right in because I want to give you guys as much of um, the time that we can, and I really wanna share with you guys what's on my heart. I'm gonna try to avoid what's going on in the comment section because um, I am totally a Ruby and I will get distracted by that. So let me just start off by saying my name is Melissa Gallimé. I have the honor tonight of sharing with you guys what is on my heart. But before we kick off, um, I shared a little bit with you guys about who I am, how I got started, and what this business has done for me. But um, I'm going to give you a little bit more intro into my life um, before we dive right in. So um, I joined as a coach just like you guys. Um, really wanted a discount. I had no intentions of building this business and um, make a long story short, it's changed my life. Um, mind, body, spirit, everything in our lives have changed. I'm not the same person that ordered that challenge pack two and a half years ago and <clears throat> my story um, isn't like the rest of the elite coaches, right? I, ha I don't come from um, necessarily a professional background. I've always worked in the corporate world, but um, I didn't go to school to get an education. I did see myself working long term um, and continuing to climb that corporate ladder because leading people was a passion of mine. And I knew that um, the industry that I was in, I could travel, I could make a lot of money, and I could do something that really inspired me. But along the way, I lost myself and I really lost um, sight of my family. I'm going to share a little bit about that with you guys. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our team, um, which is Team Fierce and the Road to Elite that we've had. Um, but really what I want to share with you guys is um, the topic of consistency and vision and how those two things have really helped me. Um, Christina covered um, discipline the other day and I think that was a great introduction to this group. And I know that the other leaders have so much um, passion around the topics that they're going to be sharing and this is a lot different than we've ever done. <clears throat> the push to me really changed my business. So the very first push that we did, um, I was not um, a participant in it. I was already a diamond coach but I did have three coaches participating in it and all three of those coaches went diamond. Um, and I will tell you that push changed the course of my entire life. It changed the way I looked at this business, it changed the way that I saw our team, and I knew from that moment on that I needed to step up and be a leader, because before that, when I joined, um, I just shared my results the way my coach, Mindy Horde, told me to do, and it was uncomfortable, but I'm a person who wants to help people. When she told me she wanted to get to Diamond for Elite that year, I wanted to help her. I was pregnant with my third child unexpectedly, and I didn't know really how I fit into this business or how it was gonna help my life, but I knew if I helped her that I was, it was something awesome, right? It was, I was gonna get recognition because I hit diamond, and I strived off of those types of things. So when the push, the very first push came around, um, three of my girls jumped in, they went 
all in and they hit diamond within before the six weeks was up and I went one star within two weeks it was at two star the next week I was at three star and all of them were rock solid they knew what they wanted and how this business was going to change their life uh, I knew at that moment I needed to step up and be the leader that they needed to be I needed to hit success club consistently I needed to provide them for, with trainings I needed to share the vision that I had long term I told you guys already, I was pregnant. I was pregnant unexpectedly with our third child. My husband and I thought that we were done. But at the same time that I had just lost 22 pounds, mind you, I signed up wanting to lose 25, I found out that I was pregnant and I knew I didn't want to send another baby to daycare. And I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew that Beachbody could be the vessel to steer me to change the course of our life. So once I went three star, I was on maternity leave and I kind of just went all in. I reached out to Becky. I started building a relationship with her. I continued to listen to everything that Mindy told me to do. And I really started building the relationship and sharing vision with my team. That's when the consistency showed up. I knew that I needed to be that constant person who was showing up for them every single day. I knew that the challengers who were counting on me were still looking to me, even though I was pregnant for that positivity, to be drinking my shakes, to be helping them with different ideas. I had to be a constant presence on Facebook for them the way that my coach had been for me. Um, once I had Jenna, that's really when, people ask all the time, like when did thing, something change for you? That's when it changed. I knew looking at that little baby girl in the hospital that I couldn't send another baby to daycare. And, um, I was pissed off like I was angry you guys that I was gonna have to spend only three months with her and then I was going to have to go back to work and so um, I came home from the hospital and I started sharing my vision with our team and talking about May 29th of 2016 was when I was gonna quit my job and it, I started proclaiming the things that I wanted out into the universe because I felt like the more that I spoke it or I wrote it down or shared it with others I was accountable to it and it was gonna come to life and so um, three months of my maternity leave just flew by and the week before the week before I um, went back to work I just found myself a crazy mess like I couldn't stop crying I was posting pictures of my baby on Facebook crying and um, putting captions that she was depressed that I was going back to work. And I literally had people in my family telling me that I was crazy, that I better not quit my job. Um, and in the back of my mind, I knew that's what I wanted to do, but I was so ashamed of telling them that. And it was because I was afraid of their judgment. I didn't want people, I didn't want to let anyone down. I didn't know if it was possible. Um, but I knew I had to do it. So I went back to work. I send all my kids to daycare. I was the rush around mom, right? I got up at four o'clock in the morning. I did my power hour. I did my workout. I prepared everybody's lunches, got the kids up, took my shower, made them breakfast, rushed them out the door. We had to be out of the house by 6.30 so that I could drop them off at daycare and be to work by seven o'clock. A lot of the times I was like texting my, my boss, like, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be late. And I was lying that there was traffic or that the baby had thrown up because I was just rushing around and everything was just chaos in our lives. And we went on our annual um, camping trip at the end of the school year to celebrate. Um, so this is now three months after I had been back. And um, on the way home, after we had a great time, both my son who was five years old and my daughter who was only um, just three and a half, four months old, got sick and I remember driving home and just bawling my eyes out and my husband was in his truck with the trailer and I was driving home in my car and when I pulled into the driveway like I must have looked like a crazy person because my husband was like what is going on with you we just had a great camping trip and you're like a mess like I don't know what's wrong with you and I said I can't do this anymore like I can't continue to send my kids somewhere when they're sick and um, I had already texted daycare that my kids were gonna be sick and the person that watched my daughter responded, that's okay, I'll, I'll take her, it's not a big deal. And I was pissed, I was angry that somebody else was gonna be taking care of my baby girl when it was not her responsibility. And 
I got out of the car and I told my husband, that's it. I don't care what I have to do. You have to trust me in this business. Like I'm at three star. I've opened my second business center. I'm almost a diamond in that. Like my income's getting there. Let me show you that this can work. I sat down that night. I crunched numbers. We did our budget and it came out that I was literally making more money with Beachbody than I was after paying daycare at my nine to five job. Well, actually it was a seven to four job. Um, and I felt guilty for that, right? I felt guilty that I was gonna leave my employer. I felt guilty that we might not make it. I had doubt, I was scared, but I knew that I needed to do this. So I gave an eight week resignation and on July 3rd of 2015, I walked away from my full-time job and I've been home with my kids every single day since. This is the second school year that we have went into and um, I've been home for them. I haven't had to text anyone else and ask them what is going on that week at school or if my kids need to bring certain supplies at the beginning of the school year because I'm the one that's there. I'm the one that's dropping them off. I am the one who is packing their lunches. I know what they're wearing in the morning. And um, where I'm going with this, guys, is I, if I didn't share that vision with my team, if I didn't share that vision with my husband, those things wouldn't have been possible, right? I could still be sitting on my hands and so afraid to take that leap and frozen in fear that I'd still be working for somebody else's dream. This year, our team went five-star elite. That is something that I didn't even know what to do or how to do it. I went back into um, the push for five-star last year group that um, Christina and Becky had created and looked at my very first post and it was in like May and I think I had like 30 points. So I was doing pretty good. I just didn't know how to get there. And um, my coach Mindy and I are very, very close. Uh, before I even joined her, I knew a lot about her life. I knew a lot about Becky and Christina because I stalked her on Facebook. And um, she believed in me and she knew that the consistent behaviors that I was demonstrating were gonna get me there. And so by showing up every single day and moving to action instead of just being inspired, but taking those action, those, those aha moments and turning them into action moments, that is what's really helped me. It's helped my team. And um, we've seen a tremendous amount of success. It, and now I'm home with my kids, like I said. We're projected to be um, a two-time elite team with six, my first time ever in my life at 31 years old, making six figures this year. Um, it's, it's truly, truly changed my life. And so what I wanna talk to you guys a lot about today is just that consistency piece and that vision. And if you don't have a vision, it's, who, who's gonna join you, right? Who knows where you're going? You have to figure out what it is that you want for your team, what it is that you want for your family, those reasons. A lot of people with, struggle with figuring out what their why is. So go to the reason, make a list of reasons. What are the things that keep you up at night? For me, it was sending those kids to daycare. It was calling into work. I hated calling into work. Like, I don't know about you guys, but literally the night before, if I had, if I knew I had to call in, I literally was like sick. I was up all night. The other things that were keeping me up was like the people that were calling me to collect bills, like credit card bills or my car payment. And knowing that we were working our asses off and it wasn't going anywhere and that I was at a job that no matter how much I gave and no matter how much I loved serving them, I wasn't gonna go anywhere. And even if I got a Christmas bonus, it probably wasn't even gonna cover the cost that I spent on Christmas money or a Christmas dinner or a vacation. We never took vacations as a family. We never took vacations as a couple because we didn't have time. We were always short on time and we were short on money. Beachbody has given me the vessel to steer wherever I want in my life. My husband and I have been able to do more things together as a couple than we ever have in our entire life. We've been together for 10 years. We got pregnant three months after we were together. The statistics and the odds were against us, guys. I came into this business with a chip on my shoulder. I was in a really dark place and I was only in it for myself. When you can change your mindset and you can pour yourself out into others and you can share with them what this business can do for them and how they can use this opportunity as a vessel to steer their life, 
that's when the magic happens. When you show up for people who have had people quit on them and have walked away from them and told them that they were never going to amount to anything and that when they fall off the wagon that you knew that they were going to, when they have people in their lives that tell them that they knew they were going to fail, but you're that person who's that constant vessel, like person who's always picking them up, encouraging them, I promise you, you're going to build relationships. You're going to have a community of people who want to get on that ship with you. So today I shared a video on my team that, that at the end of the year, my vision is for us to be 10 star. That doesn't mean just for me. My vision is so that other people can have those um, liberating times in their life of not having to call into work or taking a vacation or going on the success club trip or being able to spend time with their coach or their mentor or their kids or whatever it is. That's what I want for other people. And when you tell people and show people what this business has to offer and that you're here in it with them for them in the long run, I promise you, your business is going to flourish. When it changed from me to we, my business changed. So how do you do that, right? It's doing the four bottle behaviors. It's showing up every single day. It doesn't matter if somebody's sick. Half my community was on fire. And I'm not even exaggerating, guys. On fire last September. We were evacuated for eight days. Becky and Christina asked me to be on a desalination call. I was scared out of my mind. I was stressed. My mother-in-law's house had burned down. But you know what? I showed up for that call because I knew that people were counting on me. And I knew that the message that I had on my heart that very moment, I could share it. And no, I wasn't extremely prepared for it, but I showed up because this business is important to me. This business is important to my family. My kids know every single day that Beachbody, we, I have my power hour, right? I, I try to do as much as I can before they get up in the morning. I do as much as I can while they're at work. I have a one and a half year old. And if you follow me or we're friends on Facebook, you see she's in 90% of my videos. Tonight I was supposed to be at football. I asked my husband, can I just stay home tonight? I'll get dinner ready. I have to do this call. I want to be focused. He wasn't upset. He wasn't angry about it because he knows. I brought the Shakeology bottle in here to show you guys. So I make fun of my husband because he knows nothing about this business, right? Nothing. But he believes in this business because he believes in our vision. He knows that one of my new goals is to bring him home so that he has the ability to pick and choose when he works. He's a heavy equipment operator. We live in Northern California. If you know anything about that, you know that construction shuts down during the winter and we have always been subject to live off of unemployment. Well, he goes from making $5,000 a month to $1,800 a month. You can do the math. You can see that that is not very easy. This is his shaker cup. When uh, my country heat came in last week, he was so excited that a new shaker cup came in. He always goes on Facebook. If you ever see hashtag teamwork and nothing else, you know that it's him um, because he says when he builds his team, that is going to be the name of his team. He calls himself a two star emerald elite because he has no clue what this business means and how you run it or he doesn't get on calls and um, he drinks a shake every day. He's pretty up and down with working out because of his hours during the winter time he does it a lot more but this to him it it's us right this hashtag teamwork elite he knows that this business is our family business he knows that this is the vessel to get him out of uh, out of uh, us out of that constant worry of is he gonna have work is he going to be on the out of work list into March, April, May, because those think times have happened and we know what it's like. We felt those times of struggling. Last winter was the first time where we were not stressed over paying our credit cards. We were not stressed over how we were gonna make the house payment. We were not stressed out of all of those things because of Beachbody and because of the vision that we're creating. He said over and over and over since we got back from Summit, when you retire me, 
when I have the opportunity. We, for our family, we want to be able to travel. We want to be able to take off in our trailer and go. <laughs> yeah, too starry Lee. I know, he's crazy. But we want to be able to take our kids during the wintertime when it's the layoff season and go travel. We want to be able to go camping. We want to be able to go hunting. Those are the things that we want to be able to do for our family. And that is the vision. I can see us there. When I was driving down the road, the road the other day, I was thinking about vision and what it looks for, like for our team. I visualized myself on that stage talking to Carl Deichler as a 15 star superstar coach. I visualized what that felt like for our team. What it felt like to have that 15, that 15th diamond in my first business center. What it feels like when my next coach is able to walk away from their job, I visualize those things. I say them out loud. Last year when I was pushing for elite, guys, I would walk around my house and say, we are worthy and deserving of being a five-star elite diving team. And my kids are like, who are you talking to? I'm like, anyone that'll listen. I'm just throwing it out into the universe. I literally had it written on sticky notes here in my office. I had it in my kitchen. I had it in my bathroom. I had it in my car on the dash. Because the more I looked at it and the more I visualized what that felt like to get that call from corporate to say that our team had done this, I knew it was going to happen. I knew in those moments of doubt when I was sending texts to Mindy and Becky and Christina and Christina Lewis and Lindsay Sims that they had my back and they were in my corner and in those moments of funk, they were going to pull me out. I know that when I get on my call every Tuesday with Jenny, that... She's going to push me to believe that I can get to, that our team can get to 10 star, that we can be a repeat two star elite team, that I can retire my husband, that no matter whatever barriers in my way, the consistency and the vision that I have for our lives is going to outweigh all of that. And that's what I want you guys to have. I want you to be disciplined like Christina was talking about. Do your four vital behaviors. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Everybody has shit that comes to them. I just told you, our entire town last summer was on fire. My mother-in-law lost her home. We were evacuated from our home for four days. One of my top leaders in my organization, every house on her street burned down except for her own, right? Right now, our town, one over, is on fire. If you watch the news, the Clayton fire, that is us. I've been going around collecting donations. Another part of my vision now is how do we keep paying it forward for these people because the town over lives in poverty. The kids that go to school go in their parents' dirty socks. They were looking forward to starting school last Monday so that they could get two meals a day and not have somebody screaming at them and strung out on drugs. That's the reality 15 miles away from, my, from the town that I live in. I want to be a light in that town. I want to use Beachbody and the income that I, er, that I earn to be able to serve that community so that those kids have one less worry. I know that I'm not able to touch every single person. I know that every single person in my newsfeed doesn't share the same visions for my life. Some people love going to work every single day and dropping their kids off. It's an escape for them. That's not my vision and I can't worry about what everyone else is doing. I have to focus on the people in my organization that want it and I have to be able to use this vessel that I've been given, this gift, and pay it forward to others. I was nervous as all get out getting onto this call. I don't know why. I was in the last push as a presenter. Um, I make like 587 live videos a week. I was nervous to get on this because I want to... Sh I. I want to be able to add value to you guys. To you guys, I didn't prepare a ton of notes. I'm going to show you guys what I prepared. Not a lot, right? Because I wanted to just share with you what's on my heart. And I just want to tell you when you're consistent and you show up and you believe in yourself and you have a vision for your life and you share that with others and you don't give up when life happens to you and you drink your Shakeology and you talk to your family about what's important to you and how this business can change you. I promise you guys, everything will change. This picture sitting behind me, literally guys, I would never, ever in my life envision that this would be our lives. Our team did this. We became an elite team together. We, uh, in my opinion, we have the best team in the in the entire network. Diesel Nation is it. Like, I, I can't, I, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to calm down, but I literally could go on and on and on about how incredible this opportunity is, but you guys know it is because you're on this call and you're making the sacrifice because some of you, it's nine o'clock at night. Others, it's eight o'clock. 
some of you it's six o'clock and you're rushing you have to get dinner done people kids are coming home from sports you guys have homework you know what this opportunity is. Don't waste it. Don't be a collector of information. Stop trying to make lists and trying to figure it out. Fail forward, guys. Share your vision with the world and just fall and build your wings as you go up. That was one of the best advices that I've ever received from Melly Mitra at the New Leader Conference. And I don't know how I'm going to do all of this. I don't know how I'm going to bring my husband home, but I know that I have an opportunity at my fingertips to bring him home. I know that my kids no longer have to stress out and get anxiety because they have to go to daycare. I know that my baby girl doesn't have to learn to go potty with somebody else. I don't have to have those anx those anxieties because I have a vision for our life and I know what I want and I'm not going to stop no matter if there's a fire in our town and we're evacuated or if I have cramps or if I gain five pounds on vacation or if I have a hater in my newsfeed that tells me that she's sick and tired of seeing my workout videos because that happened on Friday night. I don't give a shit about those people. I don't want to, I don't want to focus on the negatives. I want to focus on how I can help the people that need us and the things that have been gifted to me with this business and consistency guys is the number one thing that has helped me in this business so much it doesn't matter what i'm going through but if i get my my personal development in every single day my mind changes my heart changes i haven't had this big huge gigantic transformation i'm not a size zero i don't have six packs but you know what's changed my mind's changed my outlook on life has changed i know i have the ability to dream Growing up, I don't ever remember setting goals. I don't ever remember visualizing my life. Today, I visualize all the time. I'm a dreamer. I have goals written all over my office. If you move this, it says be legendary. Let me see. And I have little notes. I have um, that we're going to be in the top 100 this year. Now I'm breaking stuff. The top 100 at the end of the year. I have that we're going to be a two-time elite team. I have that I'm going to have five elite members of my directly sponsored coaches that we're going to have 30 coaches in my downline walk away from their business in the le or walk away from their full-time jobs in the next two years. Those are the visions that I have for my life. And I just continue, I know it just fell, um, continue to share them. So if there's any piece of advice that I can share with you guys, it's just being consistent and sharing your vision with people because without having a vision and without sharing that with people and without showing up every single day, nobody's going to want to get on your train. Nobody's going to want to be a part of that club. Nobody is going to want to be with someone who is wishy-washy. This business is like this, right? It's not like this. Success isn't easy. It does take work. You do have to fail forward, but I promise you, when you are able to love on other people and invest in them and help them create the life that they want, your business is going to take off and your life will change. I don't know how much time we have right now. Can somebody give me the time? I'm going to go back through some of this. And if anyone has any specific questions on what I do to stay consistent um, or how we became a five-star elite, Please post them. I'm going to go back through these right here. Hey, Sam. Lots of hellos. Um, so Mary said that she's pregnant too. Excited to hear that the success where you're pregnant. Yeah, Mary, I literally use that maternity leave to build my business because I knew that being on maternity leave, it literally wasn't going to pay all the bills. And I knew I was making like, I don't know, $400 a month with Beachbody, but I needed to show my husband that this was going to work if I was ever going to walk away from my job. And that presence on Facebook, so many people are like, oh, I'm pregnant. I can't really inspire anyone. I can't really do bullshit. Like, you have a choice in everything that you do. Do your workout. I'm not telling you to go out and do Body Beast, but you can do Pio. You can do the Autumn's maternity. You can drink your shake. I went to my doctor, and my doctor a okay it. I'm not saying everyone's doctor will, and you want to obviously look at, listen to the recommendations, but being pregnant does not give you the ability to feed your body like shit, right? So make sure you're doing your portions. Make sure you're eating clean. Add your extra 
three to 500 calories, but show people that you can make fitness your business with a growing family. And that's exactly what I feel like I did. Um, let's see. And congratulations on your pregnancy. That's awesome. Yep. The universe listens. I'm a firm believer that what you put out into the universe is what, is what you are going to get back. I will tell my team that all day. Um, when you change your mind, you can change your life. And, um, I will tell you, I used to be a person who stayed up at night stressed out about the future. Things that I didn't even need to worry about. But I was so focused on the things that were out of my control instead of focusing on how I could change them that um, I was literally making myself sick. I was depressed. I was drowning myself in alcohol, in food, and I just didn't know how we were ever going to get out of this cycle. Me and my husband talk about it all the time. We used to constantly say that we wish that we had a way out of this or we wish we could win the lottery or we wish that we would get a break, right? I don't know how many of you guys give me a like if you've ever had that conversation with your spouse that you wish something would happen or you could just get a break or things could get a little bit easier. That was our constant conversation. We no longer speak that way. We talk about the things that are going to happen in our life and when we're going to get them. We put dates next to the things that we want. Um, yep, no fear, showing up every single day. And for any of you guys um, that do not have a success partner or three like I do, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do because they're sounding boards. I have a call every single week with my success partner, Jenny. Before um, we both hit elite this year, we didn't have a relationship, right? We've built a friendship that we get to vacation together now. We talk on the phone every Tuesday. We know what's going on in our kids' lives. Um, I have Christina Lewis, who we literally have been a constant in our each other's lives for the past year and a half and pushing each other outside of our comfort zones. I have Miranda, who is no part of Diesel Nation, um, and she doesn't really have a, a, a direct upline, and we just push each other, and we share those visions, and we push each other to believe in each other, and we encourage, and um, those moments when we get to spend time with each other, they're awesome, and they're exciting. I always was envious when I was watching my coach Mindy get together with Becky or Christina or Monica or um, Melissa McAllister, whoever it is. Like I was like, oh, her life's so awesome. I wish I could have a life like that. Like she gets to go to all these cool places. Guys, that is my life now. I get to go to all these places. This year, my husband and I went to Nashville. We went to Nashville together last year. We went on the, to the, on the success club trip because I created a vision board and I worked my ass off and I shared with our team that those are the things I was pushing for and challenged them to do that. And I had, um, I think I had four, four people from our team on the success club trip with me this year, which was really surreal. And this year I had one of my personally sponsored coaches, K Katrina Scott, also hit Elite, which was really amazing. Right now we are working our chisers off to get her to leadership so that we can get there together. Um, Tony Robbins, who is someone I follow extremely closely. I never thought I would be able to afford to go to one of his seminars. Guess what? I'm going in November. There's a bunch of us from Diesel Nation that are going. My coach is going to be there. We have four days together there. We have four days together at leadership. All the things that I stopped wishing for and started working for are now coming to reality. I want to get back through these. Um... Yeah, so last December we had a team meeting on uh, at my house, I hosted it, and we did it as, as a Zoom call, and we created vision boards, um, and I don't want to make anything else fall or I'd pull mine out, but I literally put in there, new bed, I put on there, a new laptop, I put in there, elite, I put in $10,000 in savings, I put in there, the success club trip. I put all of those things on my vision board and slowly but surely, it's taking a couple years to get all of these things checked off. They're, they're going to be checked off. And maybe I don't complete them all in one year, but they're gonna go on my vision board. And my vision's gonna continue to evolve and more things are gonna get added to that. So let's see. Um, Dana said she's been staying up late often lately and 
this is continuing to change my life. So in those moments, Dana, when you're up, I want you to dig into personal development. I want you to write down the reasons that are keeping you up and what are the things that you need and the steps that you need to take to change your life because that is exactly what I did. I stopped having anxiety. I got off depression medication. I stopped feeding myself with booze to, to function through those things. I will be perfectly honest, when I was going through elite qualifications last year, there was times where Jenny's like, why are you up at two in the morning? I'm like, I can't sleep. I'm, I'm a little bit worried, but like my dreams were so big that they were keeping me awake. It was no longer that I was afraid that we couldn't cover a bill that was going to come out of our account. It was now the things that we wanted in our lives were keeping me were keeping me awake and that were exciting me and every day I woke up with excitement to work this business instead of dreading dropping my kids off at daycare. Um, let's see. Okay. I just want to make sure. All the way in Colorado. Thanks, Katie. Okay, we're at 28 minutes, so I'm sure we're getting pretty close here. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, please, please, please post them below. I appreciate you guys taking the time to um, jump on this call. There's a question that says, what are some of your regular daily practice to keep the business consistent? Guys, I have a power hour that I work off of, um, and the things that are in there, number one, it's the four of behaviors. If I'm not doing the four of behaviors, it would affect my business. And I can tell you before I really dove in and said this is what I want for my life, that it did affect my business, right? If I was not doing a program or following the meal plan or drink, well, I was always pretty consistent with my shakes, or doing my personal development or getting on the national wake-up call or setting goals, those things, they would show in my business, right? I was making Success Club at one point, I would say probably the first nine months of my business negotiable. Because even though my coach told me Success Club is how you build this business, this is the bread and butter, I thought I could do it my own way because I was making $150 a month as a diamond coach, a very shaky diamond, I will tell you. Um, sorry, if you don't know who that person is, go to their profile, start commenting on their, their pictures. Send them a, a message just saying, hey, how are you? When people like my post on Facebook, I will go and send them a message and say, hey, girl, thanks so much for supporting me in my business and the mission that I'm trying to spread on Facebook. And then normally they're starting a conversation with me. Anytime that somebody accepts my friend request, I have a um, message that I send back to them just thanking them and telling me, thanking them for accepting my friend request, but telling them, them the intent that I have for... Um, sending them the request, who I am, what my business is, and that if they have any questions, they can reach out to me. I've had a lot of success with it, not always immediately, but um, down the road, it will. And honestly, I'm, I'm a hard worker by nature. Like every job that I've ever had, like I've kind of worked that ladder. I figure out what it does, what it takes to excel, um, even though I'm not, didn't go to college, things like that. I literally, like I want, I want to help people, I want to serve, I want to keep growing, and so I'm always figuring out what that is, and I know that if I'm not showing up every single day, and I'm not bettering myself, I can't lead my team, and I can't push them or expect them to do anything different. I hope that helps. Um, okay, cool. So, it looks like a lot of you guys are gonna start vision boards, and, um, if you have not shared your vision with your team, here's your call to action, guys. When you get off, I want you to figure out, one, what that vision is. I want you to talk with your spouse if you haven't already done that. I want you to share that. I want you to write it down. And I need you to go into your team pages, and I need you to share that with your teams because it's going to make such a difference. When you're able to share with people where your train's going and where you guys are going and what that looks like, a year down the road, two years down the road, five years down the road, and not only for yourself and your family, but for their families as well, that's when things are gonna change in your business. Kelly just said, can you post the note that you send to people? Absolutely, I can do that. I will post it in the comment section here. Um, do you use Instagram to connect with new challengers? Um, so I do have an Instagram account. I, use, I work primarily on Facebook, and um, I have 
um, completely run out of my, what I would consider my warm market. Um, and I continue just to build relationships with people. I go live at least once a day. Um, and what I'm trying to do is just add value to people's lives. And I'm connecting with those moms who are busy and I want to cast that vision to them as well. I want to paint that picture for them of what it's like to be home with your kids. Because I was that mom who was rushing off. I was that mom who never had enough time. I was that mom who was checking her cell phone to make sure that she could cover bills before she brought groceries, right? And so I'm talking about those messy, not feel good moments on Facebook so that they can see what it's like. When I am on Instagram, um,